Hey everyone, so it's Ross here again uh, with my latest RISDA plan blog or update, whatever you want to call it. Um, so why am I doing a video today? So today's video is to say that tomorrow, uh, Wednesday the 7th of April 2021, uh, I am expecting my first delivery of six weeks worth of RISDA plan and um, I'm feeling excited maybe a bit apprehensive, maybe fearful that it might not do anything, maybe also a little bit hopeful that it is going to do something. So I plan to start taking the drug on Thursday the 8th of April, the day after it's delivered. Some people might say, oh, you know, why are you not starting it straight away? Are you not excited? What, what's, what, what's the wait for? So tomorrow's delivery is due sometime between eight and one, come in via a special courier. The drug comes pre-made up and refrigerated. Um, and because it's a window of eight till one, I don't know exactly when it's gonna arrive. Um, I'm still at work tomorrow as well. Um, I probably will have already had my breakfast. I don't know when I'll have my lunch. Um, I've got carer handovers to deal with tomorrow as well so my thought process is if it arrives tomorrow and i start on the thursday i can kind of find potentially that the morning is when i'm planning to take this drug so i can take it straight after my breakfast and also my work um, who, who have been kind enough to give me a, a couple of weeks of grace and time off so that i can potentially adjust to the drug and the potential side effects. I might not need all of the time off that they've given me. Equally, I might find that I react, you know, not so great, and I do need that time. So yeah, that's why I'm not starting the drug immediately tomorrow. Um, and my next video though, after this one, um, will probably be um, the first dose that I take. I think the other reason as well, actually I just remembered why I'm not taking it tomorrow is um, I also need the carer that came with me to my consultation where they talked about how to give the drug um, to help train my other carers. So I've got four carers that work for me. So on Thursday morning, the carer that came with me, asked for the wish not due to work Thursday, is going to pop in and show Thursday's carer. And then she's going to pop back on Friday and show Friday's carer. And then so hopefully by the weekend, I've had all my carers upskilled in how to help take the drug. When I went to the hospital for my um, consultation and assessment, uh, it was quite a thorough meeting. We were at the hospital for I think about five hours and we had lots of conversations. Uh, there was a really big, uh, for a bit of humour, there was a really big conversation about uh, not having unprotected sex and whether I was sexually active. Uh, so that was quite an entertaining conversation. Um, but the reason kind of, um, you know, I'm doing this other vlog is I said, I want to help people understand and know a little bit about the drug again if you haven't had your consultation or assessment yet. So the drug comes, um, as far as I'm aware, from all the reading and literature that I've got, it comes pre-made up. Um, you have to take the prescribed amount each day, roughly at the same time of the day. They recommend after a meal. They suggest that also the morning is better than the evening from what I've read, and that you should also have a glass of water after you take the drug. So the drug is syringed, so you, you draw the syringe out of the bottle and then you have the syringe in your mouth and then you can basically give yourself a shot. Um, and they recommend that it's at one side of the mouth and then they recommend straight after that you have a glass of water to make sure that any of the remaining drug is basically washed down. Also again, you know, one of the side effects is potential like sort of skin rashes and mouth ulcerations. So that's I think another reason why they want you to drink the water so it doesn't linger around in your mouth. Um, you also, you know, you can't like sort of pull the syringe dosage up and then you know, have a bowl of cereal and then decide 10 minutes later to have it. You've got to take the drug within five minutes and put it in the syringe because I think again, 
I don't know what it causes, but you know, hopefully that won't turn into a gremlin or something, but uh, apparently there's a five minute window of taking the drug. Um, also, you shouldn't mix bottles. So what that means is, let's say you've got a five milligram dose and you get to the end of your first bottle and there's only three milligrams left in that bottle, you shouldn't then take three from that bottle and two from the next, but basically manage to part a new bottle so that you can get the full dose from one bottle. You also have to keep the bottles to return. So again, there must be lots of analysis or you know, looking at how the drug lasts longer. So um, that's another thing to take into consideration. So refrigeration, five minutes, it's got to be taken the same sort of time every day, after a meal, glass of water, try not to get it on your skin.